Hi, welcome to my series of videos on ANS Pharmacology. I'll have both concept videos as well as review videos. In my concept videos, I'll discuss concepts in depth without much of the factual details. The review videos will help you quickly revise for your examinations. In this video, we'll focus on the organization of the autonomic nervous system and the concepts we'll need to know in order to gain a deeper understanding on how various medicines work. The autonomic nervous system comprises of the parasympathetic nervous system and the sympathetic nervous system. There is also the more complex enteric nervous system which can be thought of a separate entity on its own but for now we will not discuss that. Now why are there two separate systems to control various vital functions in the body? Imagine a car. Can you control the speed of the car with the gas pedal alone? Well you technically can. If you press the gas pedal the car would go fast and if you don't press it, the car would slow down and come to a stop. That's unless you are rolling off a cliff. It is going to be really difficult to have a tighter control of the speed with the gas pedal alone. Having the brake pedal makes it easier to change speeds. That's exactly how having two opposing systems help have a tighter control on various vital parameters. The heart rate for example. Now unlike the car example that we just discussed, these two systems in the body are always active. It's like they are at the opposing ends of a tug of war game. The result depends on who is winning at any given point of time. For example, the heart rate is controlled by the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system increases the heart rate when the parasympathetic nervous system decreases it. While the organism is at rest, the parasympathetic nervous system is more active and the heart rate is slow. When the organism is fighting or fleeing, the sympathetic nervous system is more active as a part of a stress response and the heart rate increases. We can use chemical substances to increase or decrease the action of these systems. Those which increase the action of the parasympathetic nervous system are called parasympathomimetics and those that decrease the action are called parasympatholytics. Similarly, we have sympathomimetics and sympatholytics. The key point is to understand that both systems are active at any given point of time. If you understand this concept, you can see now why, for example, parasympatholytics will have an action similar to sympathomimetics. Once this parasympathetic nervous system is blocked, the effects of the sympathetic nervous system become more pronounced. Hence, it appears as if the sympathetic nervous system has been activated. You should also understand that this happens only when both the systems are healthy and functional. The activity in both of these systems at rest is referred to as the resting tone and the activity in general is referred to as the tone. Disease, medications and other factors that affect the tone of these systems will affect the action of these medications that we use. In our next video, we will discuss how the knowledge of signal transmission in these systems help us treat various diseases. Please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching. This is my first video after a long time. Here on you can expect me to upload videos on various topics regularly. Leave a comment below and like this video if it has helped you. Peace.